Live, we are live here. You are on Anonymous Radio. He fiercely defended all anonymous arrests, all political cases, strongly as he defended every case that came across his radio show. The voice that you heard on the radio, you know, was Lorax. However, most of the time, Lorax is not one person. This is where we are, Lorax came from. Because the people behind Lorax started coming out, you know, we, we're all anonymous. We don't tell people who we are. We just, you know, do things people don't even know. So this is the We Are All Lorax campaign. It's where the idea came from everyone being Lorax because at a point in time, everyone was Lorax. The, the machine of, of corporatocracy controlling politics, controlling everything, uh, and we're seeing this with the, with the arrests of, of Lorax. That you know, anonymous uh, is part of the people's movement. It's a part. Uh, it's a it's a vehicle to get the truth out. Lorax, you know, Lorax. This show he brings on controversial people. He has controversial ideas, and you know, he. Has, some people might not agree with what he says, so anytime a, a journalist like Lorax is arrested, I think that we definitely need to have some serious look into what the reasons why he was arrested. Stay strong, brother, and know that while they may have taken a voice from, from freedom, we will continue to speak on your behalf, even if it just has to be a little loud now that you have been unmasked. I will never forget you, your friend, Hidge. For me personally, Lorax, was one of the first people I'd actually ever met in a non, um, when I stumbled into a non-ops IRC just purely by accident before he'd even met me, before he started stalking me. And uh, Lorax is an incredibly intelligent, very funny man, and it's very, very sad to see that he's been arrested and, and we will do whatever we can to help. I mean, I'm Australian, I have, you know, friends over there, so if there's anything I can do, I certainly will. Hey guys. I'm calling in as a sign of solidarity and to support uh, Lorax, who was, I understand, arrested earlier today on the basis of some outrageous allegation from the Australian government. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that it is politically based, politically rooted, and retaliatory for the outstanding work that he has done in exposing government secrecy, government surveillance, government abuse, government outrage, not just in Australia, but throughout the world. I got the privilege and the honor to appear on one of his shows. He is a remarkable voice for freedom and justice in the world today. Simply, no doubt in my mind that he's been targeted by the Australian government. I wouldn't at all be surprised if this wasn't at the behest of the government of the United States. It's very clear that this is another attempt to silence people that have the temerity to stand up, challenge the government, expose the government, to allow others to use his unique skills, his abilities, and his commitment to journalism and truth to air the message and to spread the word. I send solidarity to Lorax. I urge everyone in the world who cares about truth and justice and freedom and speech and transparency to support him in any way, shape, and form we can. Up the rebels and all my love and support to Larax. Thank you. Yeah! 